you imagine if I hit you with a cool uppercut like boom wow just the devastation well anyway I just got done eating a nice eight piece chicken wing with extra hot sauce and I was thinking, you know, random thought, um, a lot of you guys out there are new to the whole losing weight thing. So I figured I'd give you a nice solid tip just to get you started. The first thing you want to do if losing weight is what you want to do is cut your calories back. Well, first, let me take a step back. First, get online, type in um, something like MyFitnessPal or Calorie Tracker, and you're going to find one of those little nifty programs where you can input your height, your weight, your gender, your age, put your information into that thing. It's going to tell you how many calories you need per day to gain weight, maintain weight, and lose weight. All right? But first, you want to just take one day, just eat normally. Track how many calories. Type your food in to the program. It's gonna tell you exactly what everything, how many calories everything has in it. Long story short, you're gonna input that. That's just gonna be your base day. So you're gonna, like a regular normal day, how many calories are you eating per day? Now you have to match that up to how many calories you should be eating per day to maintain your weight. Because everyone, if you're not on a diet, you should be eating to just maintain your weight. You shouldn't be eating just recklessly on some renegade shit. You should be eating to maintain the weight that you're currently at. Now, once you get that established what weight you're currently at, or how many calories you're eating, now you have to start making adjustments. Portion size, how much did you cut back? This video is going longer than I wanted to because you know when I start talking, I get deep into the explanations. Now. How many calories do you have to take out of that to meet your maintenance requirement? Where maintenance, like I said before, is how many calories you need to maintain the body weight. If you are 165 pounds, how many calories when you put in your personal information, how tall you are, your age, your um, athletic ability, all of that stuff, all of that, all that stuff goes in. Um, your activity level, yeah, that's what I want to say, your activity level. Put all those things in, it's gonna tell you where you should be. Now, cut the food back, cut the portion size back, track your macros. Eliminate all those extra things. If you like to eat Snicker bars and a bag of chips, cut that out. Get your calories down to maintenance. And go a few days eating there. Ease your way into it. You don't wanna just jump right on a diet because you're gonna fall right off. You have to ease yourself into it. This stuff is new. A lot of people don't like diets because you totally restrict everything. This method is really simple. Just slowly cut back. So you're eating this much. You should be eating that much. Chop a few off. Chop a, chop a little bit of that food off. Now you're here. Now you're at your maintenance. Go a day or two on your maintenance. See that is not that bad because it's not really that bad. From there. You want to cut off 500, 500, let's say 500 pounds, 500 calories. Cut off 500 calories from there, and now you're in a caloric deficit. From there, you're going to start losing weight. Find out what your maintenance is. Do all those steps. I don't want to go over the whole thing again. Make this video 10 minutes. Watch it. Rewind it. Watch it back. Go over those steps, and once you get a few days at your maintenance, you just eat normal. It's not a diet. The word diet really fucks with people. Once you get yourself to that maintenance phase, chop off 500 calories, just like you did to bring it down to your maintenance phase. Now take off 500, and you eat there for a few days. Just give it a whirl. See how you like it. You're going to be in a caloric deficit. Now, it's going to take a few weeks to start seeing major changes. Adding in cardio, that's a bit more advanced. Adding in weight training, that's a bit more advanced. You're gonna be adding in how many calories you're burning with your activity, especially if you're active. You're in high school or you're in college, you're an athlete, you go walking a lot, you have a dog, you walk your dog a lot. Add that stuff in, then you really start to get into it. It's like personalizing yourself, kind of like one of those video games where you get a character and you build them up, but you're doing it with yourself. You have to think of it in a way that's not like a chore. Make it interesting, make it fun. So start chopping those calories away. Let the time go by. 
ease your way into it, let the discipline become normal, stay focused, and a lot of hand gestures here, huh? And you're gonna get there. So just that's an easy, quick way to just get started. Like I said, I don't wanna make this video too long, just rewind it back and play it all back. It's all really simple. Try it, trust me, you're gonna like it. So, with all that said, oh, I'm so stuffed. Get to the gym, do work, muscle up. That was awkward. It's hot here. All right, guys, so I'm gonna hit that power button now. It's around here somewhere. Here we go. Sign Gerald, I'm sincere. This year I'm in here, I'll spell it out to make things clear. And meanwhile, your end's near. I've got a lane and I'm in gear. You people wonder who's next up. That conversation really ends here. <laughs>